we interrupt this regular scheduled program to bring you a special alert. The 10-year Treasury yield hit 3% on Tuesday morning for the first time in more than four years, reflecting expectations that the Fed will hike its key interest rate four times in 2018. Bank stocks were among the better performers in morning trade on Tuesday, and bank stocks can see a big benefit from higher long-term rates if the spread versus short-term rates widens. And although bank stocks may benefit Higher interest rates have huge implications for the overall economy. And this weekend, I have a two-part series that goes more in-depth on bond yields that I expect will be very interesting and informative. So I suggest watching both videos titled Crash Course and The Next Bull Market. Let's quickly look at some other news today. We're looking at the 20-year monthly chart on Caterpillar, and the symbol is CAT. And along with the rise in yield rates, such as this morning's 3% yield on the 10-year Treasury, I'm starting to see stocks roll over. And here we'll take a look at Caterpillar and watch a slow implosion. In my opinion, the probability of a slow implosion. We hit this high near 175 in early January 2000. 18. Now we're at 147.62. Moving down here into the MACD, we can see the turn in the fast line above the slow line, but I think this is going to come down and through. We have a very elevated position here, not unlike here. Moving on down, we can see the MACD histogram with a very steep decline. I expect things to deteriorate f uh, further here. Looks like the momentum has a sharp decline. The same in the price rate of change with the fast line moving through the slow line. A very sharp decline in the RSI and looks like the stochastics is perhaps in somewhat of a free fall. We might have a little bit of a bottoming and an attempt to bottom but uh, nothing showing as of yet. Moving down here into volume, picked up a little bit in the red, and the Williams shows that that is heading down. No real point there that looks like it's gonna try to turn. We'll have to wait and see. But for the most part, going back here to the price chart, it looks to me that Caterpillar is on its way down. Where it's going to bottom, I don't know. I would not suggest buying Caterpillar, and I don't suggest shorting Caterpillar either. I would just simply sit on the sidelines and watch. Let's go to another stock. And this chart here on Applied Materials, AMAT is the symbol, and we have a price high again up here in this level late uh, 2017 early 2018 i take a look at this chart here and and there's some patterns to me it looks like these are two bookends we have back here in the year 2000 the high and then again here more recently and i have taken the opportunity to show you what a bookends look like with the books looking here this book right there, this big thick one there, that's technical analysis, I'm sure of it. But as you can see, you look at the MACD and you see that uh, this formation here is very similar to this formation here. So in my opinion, this is another stock that's on its way down. Looking here to the histogram, it's got a sharp decline as well as in the momentum. Looks like the price rate of change, fast line moved through the uh, slow line there. Relative strength is a pretty sharp decline. Again, the stochastics in free fall, nothing indicating to me that there's going to be any slowdown anytime soon. As well, the Williams shows a relatively steep decline in that. So what's happening here is we're starting to see stocks roll over and that uh, yield on the 10-year hitting three, that's going to be a big concern. And again, I have a two-part series coming this weekend. I suggest that you watch both of those courses or videos. First one is titled Crash Course on Saturday, and then Sunday will be the follow-up of the next bull market. 
we return you to your regular scheduled program for today. That's Chew Dog Charts. Thank you.